Hello everyone, welcome to Rise of Patience. I'm a top 100 team game player in AoE4 and I like coming up with strategies to win in team games. Today I'll be talking about a semi-aggressive Abbasid build order that works in both team games and 1v1s. RTS games are more complicated than just rushing or booming. In most of the games, a semi-aggressive tactic is going to work. The meta with Abbasids right now is getting a second TC as soon as you age and then starting aggression or even going for a third TC depending on the map and open and Civ. While the second TC build sets you up for a strong game later, there are three problems with it. First, it makes you predictable and allows opponents to counterplay. You don't know what your opponent is up to, but your opponent knows exactly what you're doing. In competitive games, this is a problem. The second point is you become prone to raids. With a second scout opening, you'll be starting to build your second TC by 6 minutes. That leaves a huge window for your opponent to do damage to you. The third point is specific to team games. Let's take an example of a 2 vs 2. On open maps like Dry Arabia or Lipani, going for the second town center early on leaves your ally to a double. That is a recipe for disaster in most team games. This semi-aggressive build delays your second TC by a minute but takes care of all three shortcomings of the Abbasid feudal meta. It takes the predictability away as you now have a new tactic in your toolbox. Then it lets you both defend raids and counter raids so you get early map control and you can put your TC wherever you want and you are putting your opponent in a defensive situation. Lastly, this build is amazing for team games because you can run around on the map raiding even sometimes buying time for your allies to boom so let's get into it i should mention that this build has two conditions to work first you must go with the economic wing so you can take fresh foodstuffs research if you go for any other wing you will need to tweak the villager numbers on food the second condition is that it should be a land map. The build needs to be adjusted if you are on a water or a hybrid map and you're going to build the dock first. With that out of the way, let's start. You will open with a regular Abbasid build that lets you take wheelbarrow as soon as you age up. I will fast forward this part in the interest of time, but it's pretty simple. As soon as you click up to feudal, move three villagers from the berries to wood. All the new villagers will go to the wood camp until you have 9 on wood. The next villagers will go to sheep until you have 12 on food. There is an efficient way to make sure you don't mine any more gold than you need to. You need exactly 375 gold to age up, get fresh foodstuffs and wheelbarrow. On a 4000 gold, gold vein, that leaves 3625 gold. So as soon as you have 3625 gold left, take the 4 workers off and transfer them to stone. When you go to the next stage, you will grab fresh foodstuffs and build a stable with a wood villager. As soon as you have saved another 150 wood, place a second military building. This could be a barracks, a stable or an arch range depending on the situation. I typically only go barracks if I'm against French. In any other situation, I would go either for an arch range or a stable. In this game, I went for a second arch range because I'm on the flank and I have to be ready in case the China player decides to go for mass spears. If I was in pocket, I almost always go for double stables. If you do go second stable, it lets you pump out horsemen at an incredible rate and that food savings on the fresh food stuff start showing its effect. As soon as you have 12 on food, send the next villagers on wood. 12 villagers on food is all you need to sustain double stable production while making villagers. You can tweak this number of food villagers depending on if you're making camel archers or if you're making something else. Around the 6 minute 50 time point or the 7 minute 10, depending on if you started with a second scout, you will be ready for the second TC. You can pull 6 to 8 villagers from the stone mine 
or and from food or wood to build a second town center. This town center should be on a deer patch for a nice food income. From here onwards, you need to freestyle. If you don't think you're under pressure, you can leave two villagers in stone for an even more delayed 30 C. You can make more military buildings if you feel like staying in feudal for longer or you, or you can stop production and plan for castle age. If you are in a tight situation or you're getting rushed, then don't be greedy, just collect food and wood and try to defend. I hope this video helps you to make the most out of Abbasid. I'll mention that you can tweak this build to work with many other sieves, but it goes very naturally with Abbasids for two reasons. First, Abbasids have a fast age and, they have, and you're not wasting any villagers productivity while aging up. Then if you decide to go with an archer range instead of stables, you can pump out horsemen and camel archers, which in my opinion is the most mobile and versatile unit combo in feudal age. It beats almost everything. That's it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in a later video. Meanwhile, check out this same strategy being used in a high level team play.